In our fast-paced and demanding world, we're inundated with choices, obligations and distractions. We're so busy and so much in our heads trying to keep on top of everything that it's really easy to just keep going along in the same old grooves and the same old routines without really checking in with ourselves about whether we're really happy going where we're going. We're not present with ourselves and so we can't hear the whispers of our inner guidance above that noise. Yet it's our inner guidance that can really help us simplify our lives. It can bring us more peace and happiness. And it's that which knows what the right next step is that's aligned with our highest good. So in today's card poll, I'm asking the tarot, what's the one thing that I can do today that will make life easier to see what single action or mindset shift might lead to a path of more ease? Hi, it's Kathy here. Thanks for tuning in. I make videos on transformation, abundance, spirituality, and how we can make life easier and more enjoyable by looking at it through the lens of the tarot. If you enjoy this video, do please like and subscribe so that you get the latest content. So back to the topic. Um, when we look back over the decades, it is really incredible just to see how much more complex our lives really have become. Now we are constantly bombarded with information, technology is advancing at an unprecedented rate, and we're always connected to the world through social media. So it's no wonder really that many of us are feeling overwhelmed, stressed and burned out. This overwhelming complexity, it's really taken a toll on our health. So stress-related illnesses are on the rise. Mental health issues like anxiety and depression are really common. We're constantly running on autopilot and juggling a million tasks and responsibilities, and it's just wearing us down. But here's the thing. The antidote to this chaos lies within us. We need to step out of the busyness of our minds and into this quiet space within our hearts. We need to connect with our inner guidance, that intuitive wisdom that resides within each of us. When we tune into our hearts, we can find clarity amidst all that noise. We can discover the one single step, the one action that will lead us towards that path of ease. So what that one step will be will be different for everybody, but it's connected with simplicity. And by embracing this shift from head to heart, we can regain balance and harmony in our lives. We can let go of the need to do it all and instead focus on what truly matters. It's really about finding that sweet spot where we're productive without sacrificing our well-being. So let's dive in and see what the cards have to say to help us make that inner shift and tangible step to more ease. So number one, we have the lover's so the key guidance of the lover's card is to seek alignment and balance in your actions, to cultivate harmonious relationships and to make choices based on love and unity. So one answer to the question, what's the one thing that I can do today that will make life easier? It could be that you need to prioritize connecting with others and fostering cooperation to move ahead. By building positive relationships and partnerships, you can unlock so much support and collaboration that's going to reduce stress and make your journey easier and potentially eliminate unnecessary hurdles or complications in the future. Additionally, the Lover's Card emphasises the importance of making choices from a place of authenticity, passion and real connection. So trust your intuition and align your decisions with your core values and your desires. By honouring your true self and following your passions, you can find greater fulfilment and sort of make progress in the areas that really matter to you. The Lovers is also an encouragement to prioritize love, uh, to unity and authentic connections in your actions because by doing so, you'll, you'll start to create an environment that really supports your heartfelt goals and aspirations. And when you're joyfully following what's true to your heart, it that raises your vibration and it puts you into a state where everything else on your journey will just become much more manageable. 
So you'll be able to also ride over the inevitable bumps in the road with much more ease. The lovers also suggest that by making a conscious effort to connect with others in a really genuine and loving manner, you can create a positive ripple effect that will just ease conflicts and simplify decision making and pave the way for smoother interactions with others moving ahead. The lovers is also about the relationship you have with yourself and it's about choice. It's about knowing what you will and won't stand for, being clear about your personal beliefs and values and staying true to them. You may be called to follow a higher path, even though it might seem difficult or challenging. So now more than ever, you need to make a choice for yourself based in love. And lastly, The lover's message might be that you need to find a way to bring together two seemingly different opposing forces in order to create something that's whole, unified and harmonious. When you accept that there is duality in every choice with advantages and disadvantages or positive and negatives, you can build a sense of unity from which love can then flow. So in summary, By focusing on cultivating harmonious relationships and making choices based on love and unity, you can simplify your path and you can create a strong foundation for everything else to flow much more smoothly. So the second card, oops, upside down. Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is a reminder that life is constantly evolving and change is inevitable. So instead of resisting or fearing change, we need to embrace it. So perhaps today it would help you to consciously open yourself to the idea of change and be willing to adapt to new situations and circumstances so that you can flow more easily with all these transitions that are coming up in life and just make your journey smoother. The Wheel of Fortune is another card that reminds us of the importance of balance in life. So maybe take some time today to assess different areas of your life and identify where you might have some imbalances, whether it's work-life balance, self-care, relationships, or personal interests or something else. Look for where you can create more equilibrium By prioritising balance, you can experience so much greater ease and harmony in your day-to-day life. This card also encourages you to trust in the natural cycles and rhythms of life and to remember that there's always ups and downs and some things might not go as planned. But to trust these fluctuations that are just a part of a larger process and that things will eventually shift in your favour. By trusting in this process, you can just let go of unnecessary stress and allow life to just unfold with much more ease, riding these ups and downs and just allowing things to be as they are. Another piece of guidance from the Wheel of Fortune is to take inspired action towards the thing that you want to be, do or have in your life. So reflect on what truly matters to you and just take one clear action step that aligns with those desires. It could be a small step or it could be a significant leap, depending on your circumstances. But by taking intentional and inspired action, that's going to move you closer to what you want and inspire you to take the next step and the next step and the next step and so on. And finally, the Wheel of Fortune brings a message that whatever goes around comes around. So whatever energy that you're putting out, that's eventually going to come back to you. So one really powerful practice that you could do that is always a good thing to do at any time is gratitude so just take a few moments today to acknowledge and appreciate the things that you are thankful for by shifting your focus to gratitude you're going to start to invite much more positive energy into your life you know when it's a really powerful uh, vibration to step into and when you're embodying that particular frequency that makes you really attractive to more good stuff to come into your life So the final card we have today is the Knight of Cups. 
So the Knight of Cups in Tarot is associated with emotions, intuition, creativity, and following your heart. So in response to the question, what's one thing that I can do today that will make life easier? The Knight of Cups, it could be suggesting that today is a good day to explore and understand your feelings and your intuition around whatever your current situation is. So take some time to listen to what your heart and instincts are telling you, rather than relying on logical reasoning alone, because it's your inner guidance that will help you make choices that align with your authentic self, with your true desires and the things that matter most to you. Finding a balance between your emotional and practical aspects of life, which honour your feelings while helping you stay grounded and focused on your responsibilities, that could be really good advice right now. At the same time, pay attention to any unresolved emotions that you're holding on to that may be causing you difficulties. You could be conscious or unconscious as to the reason for these emotions, but engaging in activities like uh, journaling, meditation, talking with a trusted friend or a therapist, that can help you to gain clarity and just to let go of any emotional burdens and resentments and just anything else really that you no longer need to hold on to, which is probably costing you energy. Another message that the Knight of Cups brings is that pursuing activities or projects that truly inspire and excite you will make life easier. So engage in something that brings you joy and allows you to express your creativity. It could be painting, writing, playing music, uh, dancing, or any other form of self-expression that really resonates with you. Tapping into your creative energy and passions, that, that can really help to alleviate stress. It can bring you a greater sense of fulfillment and ease, and it can just make daily life much more enjoyable. And lastly, the Knight of Cups encourages you to be empathic, kind and understanding with others. So show compassion and look for opportunities to lend a helping hand or offer support. Make an effort to be present, listen attentively and genuinely have an intention to connect with people from, from the heart. Shifting your focus from your own challenges and the things that you're struggling with to actively helping others can positively shift your energy and lift your mood and it's from there that everything else can flow so much more easily so that's it for today I hope you were able to take away some inspiration for making ta a tangible action step that will lead to more ease in your own life if you'd like my support to get back into alignment or find clarity or feel your own connection with your higher guidance and raise your vibration so that you start becoming much more attractive to the good things that you want to attract into your life, then do reach out. Uh, links to my one-to-one -one coaching work are in the description, as is the link to download my handy guide to asking powerful questions, which you can use with the tarot, oracle cards, or as journal prompts. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.